lost a mother and a brother to evil 20 years ago. The son of the legendary Dark Knight Sparta, Mr. Dante. Well, the way I figure it, in this business a lot of your kind comes around. And if I kill each one that comes, eventually I should hit the jackpot sooner or later. Strange and ironic that it will end the same way. Hello everyone, this is your cat to speaking, welcome to the DC Network and today I am here to start the next last place and in today's video we're going to play Devil May Cry. This game is a classic, however though I'll tell you this guys, this is my first time playing it personally and the reason for that is because back in the day I used to watch my brothers play this game all the time but <laughs> I never got the chance to play it so this will be my first um, playthrough on it so um yeah there is a times i'll get lost and sometimes i'll probably rage on it because you know um it's i guess i, I remember almost everybody did not completely everything so it's gonna take me a while so other than that this could be part one and we're gonna begin devil may cry so other than that enough of talking let's get straight to the gameplay shall we here we go we begin part one Two millenniums ago, there was a war between the human world and the other, the underworld. But somebody from the underworld woke up to justice and stood up against this legion alone. His name was Sparta. Later, he quietly reigned the human world and continued to preserve harmony until his death. He became a legend. The legendary Dark Knight, Sparta. That girl's very important. You're gonna find who she is. She's kinda cute though. Huh, a hotel thing that would make cry. Funny. Must be the handyman who'll take any dirty job. Am I correct? Almost. I only take special jobs. If you know what I mean. You're the man who lost a mother and a brother to evil 20 years ago. The son of the legendary Dark Knight Sparta, Mr. Dante. Well, the way I figure it, in this business, a lot of you are kind of. And if I kill each one that comes, eventually I should hit the jackpot sooner or later. In that case, you should be used to this sort of thing. <laughs> Are you really the 
son of the legendary Dark Knight Sparta. Didn't your daddy teach you how to use a sword? Sword. <laughs> Time to go to work, guys. As a child, I had powers. There's demonic blood in me. What strength? You were the first one to know about my inventions. It looks like I'm getting closer. It seems that way, but I'm not your enemy. My name is Trish. I came here to seek your help, to put an end to the underworld. What? God damn, she's hot. Ten years later. Twenty years ago, Mundus, the Emperor of the Underworld, resurrected. Mundus? Yes. His powers were sealed by Sparta. He's attempting to gain control of the human world once again. He has been preparing to open the gate on Malay Island. The castle is above this cliff. Come on, let's go! So here we go guys, the beginning of Devil May Cry. Oh man, it's gonna take me some nostalgia, but just remember what like I said, um it's my first time playing this personally, so what's this over here? A yellow orb. Yellow orb, a sacred stone that brings back life after death. So these are pretty much um they're pretty much for like how many times we die, so alright. Alright, and I remember there's something up here, if I remember. Yep. Alright. There we go. Blue ore fragment. Also known as the fragment of life. There's only one force of the whole piece. When it becomes whole, it will have the power to increase the value's maximum limit. Alright, so those blue fragments, um, if you collect four of them, um, then you get uh, your health upgrade. You get health upgrades. So, we're going to find three more pieces. So, let's go ahead and go inside. See what's over here. We're looking castle. All right, here. Oh, okay, so now there are missions. Okay, so this is mission one: Curse of the Bloody Puppets. Break the evil spell and open the cursed door. Let's go ahead and start it. Looks like there's no way going back then. All right, let me see what's over here. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I read there's a blue orb here. L let me try to double jump it. No, I think it's on this wall, if I remember. What was it? How did I do it? Oh, okay, I had it, I had it. There you go, almost. Sometimes, it can, it's kind of annoying if you don't make your jumps, but... There you go, there you go. Right there. There must be, there's a blue orb right here. There you go, blue orb fragment. Alright. We need two more pieces to get a four health upgrade. Alright, let me see. Let's see what we can find around here. A red orb. A red stone used to unlock new skills and doors. To acquire new skills you must offer the stones to the god of time. Red orbs are, they're gonna come in handy. Oh, wait, where should we this? This is a statue of a knight who's leaving for a war. What's the divine forces? Yeah, whatever. Alright, so those red orbs are basically like, for those who play God of War, you know, Devil May Cry is older than God of War. Um, Pretty much these red orbs are all, it's kind of like your currency, but they're used to upgrade your weapons and sadly you have to spend them on opening some doors. You'll get to see why in a bit. Alright, let's go ahead and um 
Oh, so, oh this thing. Let us, let's read it. This statue must be the watcher of, of time. This God knows and remember all the past. The words of this God are engraved. Those who decide to acquire the ancient ways of war shall offer the blood of monsters in exchange. It's not responding. I better unseal that door beneath him here first. So basically this thing here is... Hang on, let me skip this. Sorry about that, guys. So this thing's basically... um. It kind of look. You can see a little shop where you can buy most of your stuff. You can buy items where you could um, to help you draw time. Dr st come from health to um, weapons upgrades. So um, this thing should be this. This thing you're gonna see this thing a lot. So so let me exit here. We'll, let's continue. All right, let's go. Let's let's get that red orb. All right. All right, let me see what's over here. Yep, more red orbs. Should I collect red orbs as fast as possible? Because we're in those red orbs who... This is the reason why. Hang on. If you guys go over here, you're going to see this. Let me show you guys here. You see that? You see those little... You see that little feel, weird feel on that door? Whoa. Okay, that scared the crap. I didn't expect that. I need 45 red orbs to open it. So basically, you need if you see the red ones, that means you gotta collect 45 red orbs. If you see white ones, you have to complete a mission or you have to fight a certain enemy. All right, let's go ahead and um, let's find some red orbs somewhere. All right, there's some over there, but we need we need to find another way in. All right, let's go ahead and jump on here. Yeah, I didn't expect that red hat to hit me. That was kind of scary, but... So, man, this game... Back in the day, this game... Used to, when I watched my, my brothers play this game a long time ago, I used to get creeped out sometimes. You know, it gets scary throughout the time. Not just throughout the type of enemy you face, but... Um, and you also fight... Um, Alright, let's go around. I think it's the other way around, but... um. Yeah, this game is very, you know, it used to fear me back in the day, but you know what? This game actually looks cool. I, I, that's why I always want to play in my personal time, but I never got a chance to play it. Because, you know, this came out back in the PlayStation 2. And, you know, like, I never got a chance to play it because, you know, it was my older brother's PlayStation at the time. Alright, we'll make that jump. Let's jump over here. Alright, let's see if we can jump inside this little pit. All right. Oh no, no, wait, no, it's not like that. There you go. We got forty-five red orbs. So we got now we have enough to um open the the cursed door. So let's um. All right, here we go. Let's open it. You use forty-five red orbs, and that's what happens. That you, you already know you open the door. Now to the next area. What's up? Any way in? A heavy iron lattice gate is lowered. It appears that this iron lattice gate will have to be raised in order to get out of this old castle. That's great. It sucks that I think it's the thing to have voice dialogue, but let's hit these. All right, we found another blue orb. Perfect. So yeah, um, this game is kind of like a combination of Shadow Man, um, God of War, and Sudeki. And the a reason for that is because um, Dante uses uh, so he's a source member. He's also like to, he has his own personal handguns, which is pretty cool. But you're gonna see the whole power thing later on. We're just using his regular weapon. What's over here? I can see the castle's gardens from the window. Alright, just push. I thought there was like monsters or something like that. I don't, that's what used to creep me out. Alright, let's go over here at the spiral um, stairway. Let's see if we can find anything around here. Alright, looks like there's a way up. We gotta get up there. But we're sure we find anything interesting. 
And also, we hit the breach and we get some orbs with it, too. Pretty nice, you know, right? What's over here? Alright, let me see. Alright, what's over here? There are three openings to insert something. Alright, nothing here, so. See if we can find anything on here. No, not yet. I guess we'll go back then. Alright, let's go to that big hole. Let's jump on. Alright, let's get the orbs. Let's see if we can find anything on here. Maybe press some blue orb fragments. Alright, what's over here? Alright, hang on. The crumble stairways are blocking the way. No, we're looking at this. Oh, that part really scares me. That The rusty key. The key is rusty, but it should work. Alright, here we go. Oh, I don't like the look at that thing. It's, it's, it's creeping me out, but we're just keep going then. What the hell? Oh, yep. I know. We fight these guys. Let's go. It's time for some action. Oh, man. I haven't played this game in years. Well, this is my first time, so. But I can't remember some parts. All right. Come on. Let's go. Hey, let's go. All right. That's one enemy down. Hmm. All right. Let me see. Nothing over here. Let's go down. Another puppet. Let's go. Now you can use your sword, but you can use your handguns too. I don't know why. It's pretty cool. It's just I like this the best, like best combat I ever experienced. All right, let's go. Let's go down here. Expect more puppets to fight. Oh uh, man, sometimes the camera angle can be annoying sometimes. All right, let's smash more of this debris. Maybe we will get some items. Mm, let me see. All right, there we go. That's everything. Let's get out of here. And what was gonna do? I think we gotta go back to the main, the main room. If I remember, there's like a blue door around here. Yes. You used the rusty key, yes, that key that we picked up from that puppet. Alright. Okay, yep. We're gonna fight more of these puppets. Alright, so this thing here, let's see. This is this emblem. Response to my powers. So this I call this a timer because here's what happens. Once you fully light this up, you're, it's, it begins as a timer. You're gonna see how it works. Let's hit this thing. You see the little fire coming out? All right, sorry, my bad. All right, let's hit this again. That's what it does, and it activates something. And this distance will reactivate the elevator. I don't know why it's so satisfying to hear that thing light up. Now we're down here. See, all right, more puppets. Let's go. All right, here we go. Absolutely, let's see how far we could go. Alright, let's get these orbs. Don't ever miss out on these orbs, folks. You're gonna need them. Come on, let's go. Ooh, and this! Green orbs, a soul sick that revitalizes energy as soon as you get. It's pretty much your health. Pretty simple, you know, but they do come randomly. Alright. All right, more puppets to fight. Or shoot them off. And yes, there's a limited ammo, by the way. So you have to worry about ammo or anything. All right, come on, let's, let's fight these guys. Did any die? Yeah, let's get these orbs. I told you we're gonna make those orbs back from opening that door. But yeah, there's ways to form orbs, but they're kind of time consuming, you know? 
Alright, let's go. This guy really won't touch my my attacks. At least shoot him or something. But right now those pistols take a little damage at the moment. Alright, those doors are sealed off. And now we go back up. I guess it's a kind of little, like a small trial if I'm if I'm correct. Let's head back up there. More puppets, okay. Whoa! What was that? Come on, let's get it. Alright, we're doing good. Let's get that green orb. We're gonna need that house. Whoa! Let's go! Oh, let's get those orbs real quick. We can't. We're gonna need them because um, we're gonna need a lot some stuff. So there you go. And that right there is signs that that the the mission ends. But sometimes it's not always end that way. So so I guess we're gonna end it here. Let's try to destroy some stuff before we go. Hmm, nothing here. Cause sometimes you may find some. Wait, yep. I see. I saw a blue orb. Let's go ahead and collect it real quick. There you go. We got all four fragments. And we just made our first blue orb. The fragments have combined to make one whole blue orb. The visual maximum limit will be increased. So yeah, as you guys see, all right, we got a health upgrade. So now we're not to die fast. So I guess the mission ends at this door if I remember. No, 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 wrong door. Sorry about that, folks. This door, the red door. There you go, mission clear. 13 minutes. We collected 176 orbs. And, um, let me see. And we got a C. Not bad for a beginner. I didn't expect. And we got 100 extra red orbs which is good they're gonna come in handy so other than that we're gonna i'm gonna wrap this up here so um ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give a thumbs like if you're new here and might subscribe this is devil may cry mission one a curse of the bloody puppets so as always thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video and welcome to the dh network this is your captain speaking signing out